I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hi, this is Luke Ryan for JoeBlow.com and welcome to our breakdown of the brand new teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode VIII, The Last Jedi. You've all seen the trailer by now, so let's just get right into it. The teaser opens with this mysterious shot of what first appears to be stars and then fades into a rocky surface where Rey slams down her hand and gasps for breath. It's an intense moment to kick things off and from the surroundings it appears that she's still on the island from the end of The Force Awakens, which is on the planet named Act 2. We see the island from a couple of different angles as the voice of Luke Skywalker instructs Rey to just breathe. She looks out to the sea as if picturing her uncertain future, the muted colour palette suggesting a much darker tone to this movie. It's a shot that to me is quite reminiscent of this one of Anakin in Episode 2. Luke tells Rey to reach out and we see her hand pressed to the ground with stones levitating around her. It's incredibly close to a scene in The Empire Strikes Back when Yoda is instructing Luke to reach out to the Force as rocks float around him. And this isn't the only Empire reference in the trailer. Luke then asks Rey what she sees and we get a look at the back of General Leia in a new Resistance location on board a ship. If you listen closely and we'll play this back a few times, you can hear the faint plea of Leia calling out, Help me, Obi-Wan. Light. Now given that we heard Obi-Wan Kenobi trying to communicate with Rey in The Force Awakens, could Leia be communing with Obi-Wan in The Last Jedi for guidance? Or is it merely a fun easter egg for nerds like us to find and enjoy? Possibly the latter. During the shot of Leia, Rey responds light to the question of what she sees, and darkness to the next shot. A crumpled visage of Kylo Ren's helmet, crushed into pieces. Will we see a new helmet in The Last Jedi for Kylo Ren? Or has an embarrassed Ben Solo, angered at his loss to the hands of Rey, shunned his hero worship of Darth Vader and turned his back on the helmet? In another hard to hear but definitely present audio cameo, we hear Obi-Wan during this shot of Kylo's helmet, an echo of a line from the original trilogy, consumed by the dark side. Darkness. Two Obi-Wan references in a row. Coincidence? Who knows. Then an unfamiliar scene as we zoom in on what looks like a wooden bookshelf. Yet again, another original trilogy character's voice can be heard in Yoda. He says, the tree, and what we think is, it binds us. But the music swells so loudly on that second line it's hard to be sure. The tree line is from Empire, when Yoda is explaining to Luke how the Force moves through everything, but given the wooden, bark-like appearance of this shot, could it be a tree, and could Yoda be directly talking about it? Remember, he too was still around in Force ghost form at the end of Return of the Jedi. Rey concludes what she sees by saying the balance, as we are shown a symbol on an old page of a book. Light, darkness, the balance. Following that moment, we see Rey wielding the blue Skywalker saber on a cliffside, presumably with Luke looking on, and the echo of his voice claiming, it's so much bigger. After the ambiguous, story-heavy first half, we shift into more action-oriented shots in the teaser, with these ships, apparently known as skimmers, flying over salt flats towards what appears to be an army of Atat-like vehicles. And this shot reminds me very heavily of pod racing. At Alright, I'll stop with the prequel references, but this planet has been confirmed to be called Crate by director Ryan Johnson, a mining planet that used to be home to an old rebel base, and clearly where a big battle takes place in the movie. The red trails coming from the skimmers is very striking against the salt flats, and red is definitely a key theme colour in the promotion of this movie, and we'll get back to that at the end. Next we see Finn in some kind of medical chamber where we last saw him in The Force Awakens, but the flashing lights around the edges of the bed seem to suggest he might be travelling very quickly, maybe in an escape pod. Poe and BB-8 run down a hallway of a ship that's clearly under attack, and Poe's ride gets blown to pieces. Man, he just doesn't have any luck with his X-Wings, does he? As opposed to a battle taking place in the hangar of a First Order Star Destroyer in The Force Awakens, in this movie one seems to be taking place on board a Resistance ship. We then see a TIE fighter get blown up as the Millennium Falcon flies overhead, confirming that even though its tenured pilot is no longer around, that old piece of junk has still got plenty left in the tank. Rey runs in a dark setting with her lightsaber ignited. 
Wait, did I say her lightsaber? Well, maybe it is, or maybe she's just lending it, who knows. She's either training or, given her very intense facial expression, rushing to fight or save someone. One of the coolest shots of the teaser is of Kylo Ren holding his signature crossguard lightsaber towards the camera, twisting it with intent. We can see the very thin scar across his face where Rey sliced him in Episode 7, and while many speculated he would be sporting a more serious looking wound, it appears to be very minor. We return to a flashback in the following shot of Luke falling to his knees next to R2-D2 as the temple he trained new Jedi in burns. It seems the events of Luke and Kylo's past will continue to be looked back upon in The Last Jedi. After this, a shot of Captain Phasma emerging through smoke and flames appears, but will surely be from a different scene in the movie, as the previous shot is almost definitely a flashback, though the editing suggests otherwise. Penultimately, we get two shots of the first real space battle in the sequel trilogy, a tantalizing tease of what's to come, and then the final eerie moment. Luke states that he knows only one truth. It's time for the Jedi. To end. The music in that last moment is incredibly foreboding, really letting us know that this will be an even darker and heavier film than Episode 7, one that's sure to be emotionally loaded. Luke appears to be standing in the entrance of whatever the place with the books was, and considering Han said Luke had gone to find where the Jedi began, we can assume those books could be the key to the beginning of the Jedi. With the teasing of light and darkness creating a balance, and Luke vowing that it's so much bigger, the central hint of this teaser is that the primal theme of good versus evil that so broadly coloured Star Wars' past could start to become more blurred in The Last Jedi, injecting a black and white concept with a ton of grey. Is Luke welcoming the dark side in conjunction with the light? His statement about it being time for the Jedi to end could mean that it's time for something more to begin, a path where the lines between good and bad aren't so clear. Or, he could simply be so done with everything that has happened that he refuses to come back to save the day. In the gorgeous poster for the film, you can see that Rey's lightsaber begins to change from blue to red, which could hint that she might take on some of the dark side. Or, as the red starts where Luke's face is, it could mean him too. Interestingly enough, Kylo's face rests more on the blue side of the lightsaber. I mentioned red being the theme colour of the movie. It more than likely denotes the series taking a more darker turn, particularly with red being so associated with the dark side in the Star Wars world. Or maybe, it could be more linked to one of the first things you think about when you see red. Blood. And while you could look at that literally with the idea of bloodshed, it's possible it could mean blood as in family. Luke and Kylo are linked by blood, but where does Rey fit into that? Or maybe, just maybe, we're looking far too deeply into this. Regardless, we still have nine months to go before The Last Jedi hits theatres, and what are your thoughts on the latest teaser? Are there any key details we missed? Let us know down below, and thanks for watching.